right? Emotions are spontaneous, they're instantaneous, but it doesn't mean that whatever emotions are dictating us is what we need to follow, right? There's, there is a logical part of our mind which always counters this emotion. Here I want to, I want to understand the logical and the rational part of it. I'll just give you an analogy for this. Think of an elephant and a rider sitting on top of an elephant, right? There's an elephant and there's a rider sitting on top of an elephant. Who is the more powerful of the two? It's, it's the elephant, correct? The elephant is more physically more powerful of the two. But who is controlling the elephant all the time? One tiny man sitting with one tiny stick on an elephant, he is making the elephant go wherever he wants to go. Right? He can do it all the time. Right? He can direct the elephant. Although the elephant is bigger than the man, he can still direct it. But let us say one day the elephant decides, today is my day. Right? Today is my day and I'm going to do whatever I want. Can the man control it? That absolutely not. He has absolutely zero control. It the elephant goes wherever and does whatever it wants. Think of emotions as the elephants. Emotions are the elephants in our mind, and this man sitting on top of it is the rational part of the mind. Right? The emotions wants to do something, but the rational part is always guiding it, saying, "Don't do this. Do this." You no. Know, suddenly you feel like today I want to go and tell my boss to hang himself. Right? The emotions are telling you to do that. Right? And then the mind, the rational part comes and says, don't do that. Right? You'll get kicked out of the job. You don't need the job. You de need the job. Right? You can't go and tell that to the boss. So the rational come, side always comes and guides the emotional side to do whatever it wants. So this is the basic thing about emotions and rationality. All of us are emotional. All of us have the rational side. Nobody can say, I'm not emotional. Right? Nobody can say that I'm always rational. Nobody is always rational. We are always guided by our emotions. And the rationality comes in and guides us towards a correct path wherever the emotions are going wrong. The emotions just want you to kind of throw the job, get out of the relationship, you know, chuck this thing, chuck that thing. It's always going to the extreme side. The rationality comes in and pushes that into the narrow path of what is useful for you, what is right for you. So think of always the elephant and the rider when you want to think about the rational side and the emotional side.